this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. All right, now I'd like to talk about how we go about color tinting a photo and uh, this can add some interesting effects to a photo if you want to make it, especially if you want to make it appear old and uh, you can basically tint it to any color in the rainbow, but especially useful if you want to age a photo. So we'll see how that works. So we have our photo here and uh, what I want to do is um, go into uh, our layers here and add an adjustment layer. So I'm going to click here on adjustment layer and go on hue and saturation. And now what I want to do is you can see this button here, colorize, we want to tick that. And as you can see, we're instantly coloring a photo. And as we move the hue here, you're, you're moving the color that you're giving the photo. Now this just means that you have white and black and everything in between white and black is tinted a color instead of being gray, right? It's a tinted a color. We can obviously make it black and white by bringing down the saturation to zero. And then it doesn't matter what uh, saturation you have. So we want to put in a saturation here. 25 is okay. We want to set a color that we're happy with. Now, I'm going to go for a look of an aged photo. So I'm going to leave this around here and take the saturation down this much. Okay, so we have 49 and 18. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, we've colorized the photo. Now, the, uh, the good thing with adjustment layers is that you can always just double click on them and change it to your heart's content, right? So you're never stuck with, you know, the decision that you made at first, and you can always choose, um, you know, to modify things as you go along tomorrow and so forth. Now, as a bonus, I just want to show you something else here, and that's how to add a vignette to a photo. And this basically just gives, um, darkens the edges of the photo and makes it look even more authentically old if you, you know, if that is something, a look that you want to go for. So we're just adding a new layer here with the, um, with a circular tool, elliptical tool. I'm going to make a selection, uh, making sure that, uh, the edges of my circle here are outside. The edges are outside of the picture. Now I'm going to go double click here, make sure I'm in selected areas in the quick mask. Okay, and make sure that you're in the quick mask so you see a red circle. We're going to go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Add a whole lot of Gaussian Blur. Here we're adding 82, but just something that is quite a lot, basically. Get out of the quick mask mode. Do Shift, Control, I. Now what we've done is just inverted the selection. That is Shift, Control, I. As you can see, the selection here is within this image in a circle. And if we do Shift, Control, I, it's outside, it's just in the edges. And this is what we want, just a selection for the edges, right? Now we're just going to fill this in. I have my foreground color being black, so my shortcut is Alt and Backspace. So there we are, we filled that in with black. Now I'll just um, take that down to something, let's say about 30%. And uh, there you are, you can see the before and the after, and we can authentically say that this looks like an aged photo. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.